Rajasthan has been a cradle of ancient civilizations, from Mehergarh and Indus Valley to the Buddhist civilization of Gandhara, which flourished in this region around the dawn of the first millennium. Its hub was the present-day Taxila near Islamabad, where Jolia Monastery emerged as the first university and the seat of learning. Not far from Jolia lies the National University of Sciences and Technology, which continues the age-old traditions of learning and cultural diversity. Thousands of aspiring high school graduates take computer-based tests to compete for a limited number of seats in the undergraduate programs. Interestingly, except engineering, almost all the disciplines have a greater number of female students. More than 70% students hail from the lower middle class. These talented students are supported through scholarships, fee waivers, and various types of financial assistance. The vision of the university is enshrined in its logo which symbolizes change, hope, and enlightenment, radiating from the Book of Knowledge. While its mission is to grow as a research-led comprehensive university with a focus on technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. The university was instituted in 1991 as a civil-military collaboration by placing three well-established engineering colleges of the army under its umbrella and opening these institutions to civilian students. Gradually, three more military colleges joined its portals. Simultaneously, new institutions were founded and the existing colleges were strengthened and expanded. Over the years, the university has grown in size and stature as a comprehensive university with two dozen constituent institutions and over 130 academic programs with residential facilities for the students. The ambit of academic programs covers engineering and IT, health sciences, applied biosciences, natural sciences, business studies, social sciences and humanities, and art, design and architecture. Excellence in teaching and learning remain the focus of academic pursuits. Research publications over the last five years have almost doubled and our ISI index publications have increased three times over the last five years. Uh, my current research from shale gas all the way to nanomaterials has been conducted at SCME's research facilities. We want to give our students a facility where they can apply some of the theoretical concepts that they learn in the classroom. Students have the ability to actually have a hands-on experience on some of the equipment which is currently being used in the industry today. We work very closely with not only local but also well-known international companies. We developed a commercial product by the name Engine Blow by Monitoring System. We also developed Pakistan's first engine test cell for auto industry at Lahore. The test cell is of European standard but carries a Pakistani price tag. State-of-the-art labs and infrastructure support vibrant research culture. Having worked at one of the largest research centres in the world at CERN in Geneva, I appreciate that having a good research culture is really important to developing uh, the future uh, researchers. At NUST I feel that we're building a similar culture. I'm here at the NUST School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science uh, on an internship for a couple of months. I'm doing uh, basic research on uh, uh, 4G and LTE antennas. NUST has the best engineering program in Pakistan. The center has a computational resource, one of its kind in Pakistan, and that is a supercomputer. Besides research projects with local industry and research-based organization, there are active collaborations with leading universities abroad. We completed a project on the OD TDI engine for an oil company in the UK. We also completed Mercedes-Benz 646 engine project for a company in USA. Recently, we completed Toyota Prius engine project for a lubricant company in the UK. The highlight of our school is that we are publishing our research into high-impact factor journals. The research culture at NAST is very unique in its nature and provides a very conducive environment for the grooming and learning of young scientists. My experience in workshop practice had been a great one. What we're really trying to do at the school is that we're trying to conceptualize, um, sketch, have a hands-down experience in practical studio, and then we're encouraging students to build and construct. Studio is basically a second home for us.
Corporate Advisory Council combines leadership from 11 key sectors across the national economy and aims at the creation of effective university industry linkages. Global Think Tank Network, or GDDN, works for the promotion of collaboration with think tanks around the world. NAS Medical Complex, a 500-bed teaching and research hospital, along with schools of health sciences, nursing, paramedics, and pharmacy, is coming up, while a science and technology park is planned to be established to stimulate socio-economic prosperity. It will be the first science and technology park in Pakistan. NAS promotes and supports innovation and enterprise. Entrepreneurship is not only taught as a compulsory course, it is inculcated through organized activities. Office of Research, Innovation and Commercialization houses the Technology Incubation Center, which promotes entrepreneurial ventures of enterprising students and faculty. We have Pakistan's largest technology incubation center. NAS provides the infrastructure, the support mechanism, and the early mentorship, which are all key to sustain a young venture and take it from an idea stage to a viable product. Center for Counseling and Career Advisory is staffed with professional counselors and trained psychologists to guide students and staff. NAST attracts and retains high caliber faculty, which has a healthy mix of experience and youth. Faculty and staff are provided on-campus accommodation with support facilities. NAST has on-campus hostel facilities for around 60% of its student population. By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. More hostels are coming up to accommodate the growing number of graduate students and researchers. NAST provides affordable accommodation and messing facilities for students who opt to live on campus. From a personal experience, living on campus provides you with the perfect opportunity to experience the real NAST culture. You'll experience midnight birthday surprises, all-nighters before exams, and a wide social circle of friends from all over Pakistan. So, by the time you graduate, you would have become an independent young individual and would have made lifelong friends who make the NAST experience a lot more fun. NAST is a member of the Talwars Network, which promotes service learning in the universities. The Secretariat of the Pakistan Chapter, with over three dozen member universities, is located at NAST. Clubs and societies help in fostering leadership traits and teamwork among the students. Community Service Club, Drama and Debating Society are among the more active clubs on the campus. I'm currently the president of the NAST Media Club. I was also part of the delegation that represented NAST and Pakistan at the Hamburg Model United Nations in Germany. Spreading knowledge through radio broadcasting, this is Radio NUST. The university organizes sports activities and grooms talented sportsmen to professional coaching and competitive sporting events. The campus is abuzz in the evenings with lively sports activities featuring exuberant players and noisy supporters. <laughs> Keen researchers busy with their projects and hostilize taking time off in the cafeterias or sitting around the lake. The aspiring high school graduates go through a strenuous stream of activities for the duration of their studies and are shaped into responsible citizens and trained professionals ready to enter the job market to prove their worth as dynamic and skillful professionals and successful entrepreneurs creating jobs for others. I'm very proud that I'm from the first ever class of NUST. I've done my master's in business administration from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Today, I run my own consulting and social media marketing company. This is how NAS defines futures and blazes the trail for others to come.